Welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today we're going to continue our Harajuku girl project by making her a wig. So let's get started. I have the doll's head under here and it's wrapped in a plastic wrap and a t-shirt material and then stretched really tight and uh, then I used a hair tie around the bottom to keep it tight. Now I'm just going to mark on here where I want the wig to end and then we're going to put some glue on it. And I go into a lot of detail in my wig making series on making a wig cap, which is what we're doing here, if you want more information. Now, after that, I put glue E6000 all over it and let it dry. And now I'm cutting it out around the lines that I drew. Okay, so now that we have our wig cap, I'm going to put the head back on this doll, and this is actually the doll that we're using for the Harajuku project, but I made the wig prior to uh, putting the face on and everything so I wouldn't ruin it. So now I'm going to mark on here, she's going to have bangs and two pigtails. So this first line I'm making is where the hair will go forward for the bangs and the front part of the wig. On the sides, the hair will come down on the side and then the middle part will, will be cut for bangs. And then I'm making a part down the middle, and on either side of that part will be the pigtails. So the way we position the hair when we glue it on will depend on where it is on, these, on this design. And then I'm gonna make two little dots on either side of the head for where I want the pigtails to come out from and then we'll, we'll sort of build the hair up around that, that hole and that will keep it symmetrical, okay? Now, the, this hair I'm going to be using is different from anything that I've used in the past. I'm gonna be using some just acrylic yarn and I'm gonna show you how to process that to get some, some nice hair out of it. All right, so now we've got our two pigtail holes and we're ready to start working with the yarn. So I'm just taking something as my checkbook that I thought was about the length I wanted it to be and then winding the yarn around that. And then you cut it so you have strands and then you're gonna take two or three of those strands and tie them around something. I'm using a uh, long paintbrush handle that I have here. It's anything like this where you can hold on to it as you comb it out. Okay, now I'm just using a small portion here, but I've already done some of this off camera because it takes a little while to do it. All right, so just keep combing it. You do get a lot of fallout. This is just like a pet grooming comb, you know, the kind with the little metal um, comb things and or bristles, I guess. Okay, so after you get it and it's nice and soft, um, <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to lay down a line of tacky glue and let that dry a little bit while I use my hot iron to flatten this out a little bit. And this makes it more look more like hair and not so much like fuzz. <laughs> all right, so after you get that straightened out, then we can cut it off of the, the knot there on the thing and then lay it down, spread it out on that piece of glue and then you can put some more glue on top of it with a paintbrush so you've got a nice straight line. And we're gonna let that dry. <clears throat> I'll peel it off in a minute and show you how it looks. These are uh, some wefts that I had already made off camera. And I wanted to try to make enough so that we could get this wig done and I didn't have to waste a lot of time making this on camera. All right, and it doesn't matter. They can be in any size. Uh, some of them are gonna be longer or shorter just depending on how you glue them. Now this first uh, glue piece that I'm going to put on, I'm putting the glue a little bit from the edge. This is going to be the bangs or the lower part of the bangs and some of the hair will be also on the side. I don't want it to come past the edge of the wig cap. All right now I'm going back to this uh, weft that I showed you how to make and you can see it peels off the aluminum foil and then Cut off everything except a little small portion. You don't want to have, you know, too much of that glue because it'll make uh, the the wig hard. 
Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of these wefts, and I'm going to be uh, using both some pink and blue, mostly pink, but I'm going to run some blue strands in there. So after I did that first bang piece, I'm going to just start building up that area that I uh, marked off that will be the bangs, and all of that hair is going to come forward, except for the side parts uh, right above the uh, ears, they're going to come down. They're going to be positioned down. But the bang part will be all positioned forward. And how you position the, the hair will be what determines the way this wig looks. All right. And I, this, this is kind of a complicated process. I hope I'm explaining it well. <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep putting those wefts until we reach that line at the back. And then that will be all the hair that will be allocated for the bangs and the front part of the wig. Now we've reached that line. I'm still going to put more on the on the other side of that line, but that part will be flipped back. So you want to make sure that you don't get glue, too much glue on the weft, or when you fold it back, you'll see the glue part. You want you want it to just um, you just want to see the area between the two pieces of hair. Okay, so now I'm going to go back down this center line that's going to be the part. And I'm putting it just over the line. And that's going to flip back over once it's dry. But I have to get uh, the whole line and then get it dry. So that part will flip over and go towards the, the little dot that you see there. And once we get the part done, then we're going to actually come up around the, the bottom of the hairline and over the ear. Also, this hair will be pointed down because it's going to flip up and then you'll just see the underneath part. So when you're gluing it, you want to glue almost to the edge, but not quite. And then make sure that you're not leaving the hard part of the weft that was glued visible when you flip it up. All right, so once we get this all the way around pointed down, then we're going to start angling the hair up towards that dot because the, the ponytail will be going up and that hair won't be flipped. It'll just be angled toward the dot. So I'm going to go back in here and start putting in some blue. And I'm not really following any specific pattern for where I put the, the blue. I just want it to sort of be random. So I'm just sticking little pieces in here or there. And you can do this any way you want. You can do it all pink if you want. You could add pink, purple, whatever you want. So now you can see I'm going to start ang angling the hair towards the dot as, as opposed to having it fall, fall down from the crown of the head, which is the way you would normally do a wig. So when we get finished, we'll be brushing those outer edges up and over, and then the middle part will just go up straight into the ponytail. I hope I'm explaining that right. <laughs> anyway, it, you'll be able to see it, so that will help. And I'm just doing one side at a time. Once we complete one side, then we can go back and do the other. I want to make sure that that, that uh, piece that I glued down to the part is completely glued before I flip it over and start working with it. So now I'm really just filling in this area and putting more hair, pink and blue, up to the area where the dot is. Now let me turn it around there. Yeah. So everything is just going to be coming up to the dot. So actually it's easier to start at this point and put the hair around the dot and then work backwards so you're not trying to glue underneath the wefts. You're going to be gluing uh, behind them. So just start putting some wefts around that dot. The dot is not going to, there's not going to be a hole there or anything. That's just for to help you position your hair so that when you're pulling it up into the ponytail, it's, it's going to go in the right place. And then the two dots on either side will be symmetrical. So now I'm angling, still continue to put wefts in until I fill up this whole space. 
this is really time consuming and like this video I think I, I had over an hour and a half of, of video and I've cut out and also speeded up enough that I've gotten it down to about 16 and a half minutes but still you know I know that's a lot of time but uh, this is, is very time consuming and uh, making the wig itself probably took all, pretty much of the day for me to make the wefts and completely make the wig. And then there's, you know, all the time you spend waiting for the glue to dry. It's like half my life is spent waiting for glue to dry. Okay, so we're still continuing to put some wefts in. And these are places where, you know, if you have a small piece, it's okay. Actually, when you get into this area, having the small pieces is pretty good. But as you cut these pieces off of the, uh, after you pull off the aluminum foil, some of them come out into small pieces and some don't. And that's okay. You can still use them. Just piece them together. And then af uh, after you finish what you think is, is all that you need and you start styling it, you're going to find some areas that you need to go back in with some small pieces just to fill in and make it look smooth. So um, the small pieces are very helpful. Don't throw them away. It takes a lot of time to comb them out anyway, so you want to make use of them. All right, so now we've got that side completely finished. And what I'm doing now is I'm separating some of the hairs to go back towards the pony, the uh, pigtail and some that will go towards the bangs so I can separate that and start making sure that I have you know the style correct so I've got the portion that I'm coming now is the front of the wig that'll be the bangs and some side pieces that will hang down on either side of the face I'm combing that out once I put it back on the doll then I can cut the bangs and it will help us a little bit more to see what we're doing. I've just got that one side done with the pigtail. We're going to go back in and do the other side in a minute. All right, so I'm putting it back on the doll. And as always, cut the bangs longer than you think you're going to need them. You can always go back and trim them, but you can't make them longer again. And <laughs> you don't want to have to do all this work over. All right, so now we're ready to start doing the other side. And we're going to put some glue very close to that other weft that was pulled back but we're we're going to make it it's going to go the way of the other ponytail that's already done but then when it dries we'll flip it over and then you should have a nice part but you don't you want to really try not to get too much glue there so you don't see glue when you flip it you just want to be able to see the hair that's flipped over so i'm not going to waste more time showing you what we already did on the other side we did exactly the same thing and now we've got both sides done and we can start combing it out and pulling that part up too and then we'll be able to do a little bit more with styling so this is kind of kind of cute hair um, for this project because it's it's the pastel color. You could have used alpaca and used some hair dye, but I thought this would, would work just as well and save all that dyeing and everything. I like my alpaca hair for natural hair. Um, also, right there, I'm putting a little hole in and I'm putting a little tuft of hair in, and that's going to help. I'm just um, Once I get it through, then I'm just going to put a little tab of glue around it. A little bit, not too much, because you don't want it to come back through and make a hard piece on the outside. So that will help us cover up a lot of stuff. So we, we're going to take part of that and split it and put it up into the pigtails. And then we're going to take the rest of that and come down over the bangs with a portion. And the other portion will come down on either side to cover up that seam between the hair that's pulled back to pigtails and the hair that comes forward for the, for the bangs. So that's kind of how the finished wig is we have lots of styling to do but you've got your pigtails you've got your bangs and you've got the side pieces that come down this is a very classic uh, Harajuku style and you can see that it's got you know some of the blue showing through in different places it's not symmetrical at all it's just wherever it, it tends to show, to show through so I put a couple ribbons in um, 
to give me a better idea of how it's going to look. And then we'll be ready to place it on the doll. And we'll see the, the finished face and the doll. All right. So, yeah, that turned out great. So how's it going to look with the doll after we painted the face? Well, I put some saran wrap on those bangs overnight because they had a tendency to flip up, and that helped them to lay down and set. And this is how it looks on our doll with the face painted. I think it turned out really cute. Really liking this whole Harajuku project. It's been so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give me some thumbs up down below because that helps out a lot. We still have a lot to do, though. There's more that we're going to be doing with this doll. I'm going to put some lashes on her. And we've got all those cute kawaii accessories that we made in the other video that we're going to put in her hair and her dress and, and make her look completely perfect. And don't forget about my super kawaii giveaway. There's a video about that. Check it out and see how you can win. The most important thing is to subscribe. All my subscribers will have a chance to win. So stay tuned. We've got more Harajuku project coming up, and then we'll be moving on to something else that'll be equally fun. As always, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks, and bye.